Hello everyone and welcome back to a Chinami's Root of Hoshi Sodano Memoria. It's Sunday. A Chinami rushes into the dining room noisily. What took you so long? I guess I'll wash the dishes now. Well, it's only early for you, though this is cutting it pretty close for a weekday. No, if you're going to wake up early, do it even earlier than me. Six! On Sundays as well? <laughs> That's a normal time to wake up for students around the world. Those who catch trains get up even earlier. But not on Sunday. No, if I do, you'll simply be sleeping in once school starts. If you want me to have faith in you, get up before me at least once. I'll find out if you stayed up all night to pretend you got up early because your eyes form a line. Ten hours? That's a lot. Oh, you! You function abnormally even with ten hours of sleep. Anyway, finish your breakfast quickly. I can't clean up the table otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I carry my plates to the sink while glancing at Chinami sitting at her seat frustratingly. A Chinami also came to work today. These thoughts that pain my stomach depress me. Ejinami's smile is too dazzling and making me want to grind her. I guess it's best to have Chinami set the tables. Why must you insist on igniting that nuclear warhead? I'm speaking from personal experience I've had up until now. She possesses a pair of demonic hands. I've always been wondering, but why do people always make broad assumptions on what I say and do? Impossible. People don't listen to me anymore when I speak like a gentleman. Alright, good luck with work. Aso heads for the customer. Jinami runs to and fro around the shop, her smile unfading. She's trying her best without a doubt. More faith in her, huh? I should focus on my work too. I take my eyes off Jinami. But I keep my ears peeled. Perhaps finished greeting the customer, Aso starts talking. An unbelievable conversation reaches my ears. Hold on, didn't you say you'd ask her when she got used to it? So, what was it that you said you mastered? Ears aren't enough, I need to keep my eyes on her after all. Echinami returns to the kitchen with a boss. Just as I was about to return to my post, I hear a voice from a distance. Oh, what's he doing here? Yesterday it was Asuka and today Okaizumi. Yeah, 
何ですかたまにあるんだよ夜眠って目が覚めると往来を歩いていることがただの無遊病の類だから心配はしていないんだけどね No, I think you should be buried パジャマのままだったら僕も困るけどちゃんと着替えてるし問題ないよ I don't think that's the only issue here 昨夜は市長選がちらついたからねある程度予期していた初体験の時は僕も驚いたけど What did you watch Star Wars? His refreshing smile is worthy of respect ととりあえず案内しますね一年様ですちゃんと財布も所持しているし散歩の後の腹ごしらえに僕も満足さ He sits at the table while ignoring our concerns. いらっしゃいませお水ですえちなみに carries over the water immediately. おや君は小笠原君の妹君だったね。はい、ペックルでお兄ちゃんがお世話になってます。お兄さんと一緒にバイトを始めたんだね。笑顔がいいし、元気もいいし、接客業にぴったりだと思うよ。はい、ちなみにも常々そう思ってたところです。Due to everyone complimenting her, it's come to the point where I can't stop her anymore. After Asoho takes the orders, the two waitresses both head back to where the boss is. Yeah, I'll be working here for a while. Nope. If anything, I hope she gets found out and gets forced to stop. なるほど。君はバイトに反対なんだね。After saying that, Okazumi gets something out of his bag. バイトの許可をもらいたいなら、ひばりこうによるついでに、僕が言っておいてもよかったんだけど。Okazumi brings out the Kaleido Oracle we saw back in the clubroom. I remember you said this was broken, right? そうだよ。天文部の元顧問に再度修理を頼んでいたものが、登校日に帰ってきたんだけど。Is there something wrong with it? まあね。やっぱり音が鳴らないんだ。After winding the key on the bottom, the discs which were mounted on beads merely rotated while producing no melody. Is it difficult to fix? そうみたいだね。元顧問がどこの業者に修理をお願いしたのかはわからないけど。I'm sure it's pretty old. 先代の天文部が所持していたものだからね。聞いた話だと、15年は経っているみたいだよ。That's certainly quite old. だからこそ、修理できるものならしてやりたい。屋上の天体望遠鏡が破棄された今、数少ない天文部の伝統の一つだからね。How are you going to get it fixed? 僕が直接、店に頼んでみようと思ってね。ひばりが先には、オルゴール堂も建っているから。カレイドオルゴールは、有名とは言い難いけど、土産品の一つになっているんだよ。The music box shop isn't in the shopping district, is it? 運河沿いに建っているよ。この辺りだって探せばあるんじゃないかなただカレイドオルゴールを扱っているかはわからないけどねあそう and I saw the カレイドオルゴール for the first time in the clubroom I wonder if he's right about it being not so well known ま、修理の報告にこれから学校に寄ってみるつもりなんだ The disc stops spinning 僕は今日我に帰ったらこのオルゴールも手にしていた僕の手で修理を頼むのはおそらく神の啓示だと思ってね Maybe it's the revelation of a Death Star. What? How did you come to this conclusion? Okazumi winds up the key again. Kowale te iru toa itte mo. Mange kyo no bubun wa ikite iru. Mata nozoite miru kai? By looking at the disc mounted on the beads through the cylindrical lens, this music box also functions as a kaleidoscope. That's why it's called a kaleido orgel. Kanzen ni kowale te iru wake janai shi. Nao seru mise ga aru kamo shire nai. Senpai, will you be starting immediately after this? There's someone who wants to see the kaleidoscope. I promised. I promised to show Mare the kaleidoscope. Did you? She said she hadn't seen one before and wanted to see one. Though I'm not sure if she still remembers. Can I borrow this for a while? I'll give it back tomorrow. If I can't meet Mare tonight, I can show her then. これから許可だけはもらってくるけど、修理自体は急ぎというわけじゃないからね。Thank you. 明日急いで返す必要もないから。I take the music box from Kaizumi. 見せたい相手っていうのは誰なんだい ?Mare, I promised her a while back. 彼女、カレードールゴールに興味があるのかい ?No, she's never seen one in the first place. Okaizumi smiles cheerfully. だったら、二
思議な模様に驚くんじゃないかな。I hope she likes it. そういうのを喜ぶ年頃というには、メア君はもう大人だろうけど。There are lots of childish sides to her. 背伸びをしたい年頃なのかな。彼女が何歳かは知らないけど、時折無理に達観したようなことを言うよね。Well, she is one of the heroines, which means that she is at least 18 years old. 危うく見えることもある。That's similar to the impression I have. 小笠岡君、仕事はいいのかいアスホ君たちは働いているみたいだけど。Seems like the number of customers has increased while I was absorbed in the conversation, and the two of them are running around trying to serve them. お待たせしましたこちらカシオペアの椅子になりますちなみに、energetic voice continues to travel across the cafe. ちなみちゃん、それは岡泉先輩のメニューだよ。あ、そうでした。She delivered it to the wrong table. 申し訳ございませんお客様すみませんでした Of all things, she apologizes with a smile on. Perhaps having reached their heart, the customer ends up laughing it off too. 彼女の笑顔は周囲を穏やかにする力があるね。However, nothing else she does contributes an inch to world peace. I get up from my seat as Chinami heads this way. I flick her head as we pass by each other. I head for the staff room to set down the music box. After lunch time passes, Asaho instructs Chinami how to receive customers. As there are fewer, fewer customers, Chinami didn't cause any major disasters. There were a lot of small mess ups, but little damage was caused due to her enthusiastic apologies. You can certainly say that I'm feeling relieved. Though I feel depressed when I realize that this will continue tomorrow too. As her brother, maybe I should be happy that Chinami is gaining experience in society from working. I found you, Mayor. I wait until night time, then visit the lookout and play the game of hide and seek we have every time. I sigh in relief upon seeing her. Due to the issue with Kusama, I was prepared to be unable to find her. Sorry about what happened with Kusama san. Kusama san swore not to attack you ever again. Mary looks unhappy. I wasn't expecting her to forgive Kusama this easily. How's Kabo doing? It seems like、uh, the Naginata didn't hurt him, so that's also a relief. I'm really sorry. Mare is still angry. I came here tonight to apologize. Don't worry, take this. I hold out the thing I'm holding. Kaleido Orgel. <laughs> What? It doesn't look anything like a mermaid. It's called a Kaleido Orgel. Basically, it's a kaleidoscope. The music box part is broken, so that's not entirely incorrect. Yeah, I promise to show you one. Yep, want to take a look? <laughs> She comes closer, nevertheless. Let me wind the key. You look at this part that looks like、uh, turning gems from above using the long cylinder. I'll let her hold it. Yeah, just like you do with a telescope. She nervously draws her face closer. With one eye closed, she peers through it with the other eye. Mare becomes silent afterwards. She is looking at them single mindedly at a sky of gems being born. I sit beside her. Then I lie down. Overhead are lights no less radiant than the,、uh, than the kaleidoscope. The summer starry sky. The starry sky changes with the seasons. 
smoother than the kaleidoscope. I decide to wait like this until she finishes looking through the kaleidoscope. I sit up upon hearing Mare's voice. How was your first time looking through a kaleidoscope? Mare still looks unhappy. I've gotten used to it already. Her first time stargazing was also like this. So it's average, just like astronomical observations? Not only does she look unhappy, she she's also fidgeting. Did the key stop? That's right, there's a key at the bottom. The patterns won't move if you don't turn it. Why are you backing off as if you're running away? Mare, where's the music box? No. A sheet holding the music box behind her as if uh, hiding it. You can't see it anymore, right? It'll go back to normal when you turn the key. Yeah. Yeah, so hand it to me for a second. The music box in her hands is split into three. I take the cylinder. I take the rotation plate. Springs protrude from the pedestal. Wait, what is this? How is that possible? This is totally broken. That's not what I meant. My head starts to hurt badly. Uh, seriously, just what did you do to it? My headache gets worse. It makes sense for it to be old and fragile considering it doesn't play. I didn't mean it like that. She snatches the pedestal from me. That's the spring. That's... What is it anyway? A chain is protruding from it. She tucks the chain recklessly. Wait, be careful. What will happen if it gets even more broken? How am I going to explain this to Kaizumi? I'm telling you not to break it any more than it already is. She gives the pedestal back to me. And in her hands is a pendant. Oh, a pendant? Where did you get that? Hmm, interesting. At the end of the chain is a decorative gem. It looks rough, but it seems that the coating on the surface gently reflects the starlight. It's about as large as her palms. I think it's a pendant. Is this what you pulled out? Please don't damage it anymore. Turning it won't do anything. If anything, it's only going to make the damage worse. I'll take care of that. I take the pendant from her. It might be part of the music box. I guess I'll have to fix it along with the other parts. I don't know. I'll have to ask. I sigh after taking a look at Mare's throne. This was actually broken from the start. You don't have to feel responsible for it. Sorry for getting angry. I'll show it to you again if it gets fixed. She looks up at me silently. Yeah, of course. If this Kaleido Orgel isn't an option, it can always be some other kaleidoscope. Okaizumi also said that there's a Kaleido Orgel shop in Hibarigasaki. I'll let you listen to the music box part next time. Have you listened to one before? Then look forward to it. It's a promise. She hesitates. Don't forget, alright? I'm slightly surprised at her firm tone. You're a good girl. I laugh when Mare gets angry. While holding the broken Kaleido Orgel, I spend the remaining time watching the stars with Mare. <laughs>